Hi, welcome to MoEngage. MoEngage helps businesses grow their customer lifetime value by engaging them in a timely, relevant and personalized way. Your customers expect a one-to-one -one relationship with your brand and giving them that personal touch will make all the difference between them repeatedly buying from you and moving on to a competitor. MoEngage lets you personalize customer engagement at scale. Today we're going to take a look at the various modules and see how they work together to help you as marketers and product owners drive personalized engagement, improve retention and increase lifetime value. When you log in, what you'd be met with is a key metrics tab. What that would highlight for you is all of the key data that you would like to look at, including information such as your monthly active user base, daily active user base, number of installs, uninstalls, and push subscribers, for example. What you could also do is create custom dashboards, such as the one that you're looking at here, which highlights the key business metrics for um, a travel company, for example. In case of an e-commerce company, you could also be looking at data such as brands that are trending on a certain date, which city seems to uh, prefer a certain category of clothing, etc. What you could also do is play around with them to uh, show the data that you need to see and the way that you need to see it. We're a very flexible tool that allows you to uh, pin all of your charts and relevant analytics right here. You could just click on the Add Chart tab over here and add additional data points within each of these custom dashboards, also allowing you to maintain multiple dashboards all in one. In case you want to dig a little deeper and look at how your customers and users are behaving across your properties, all you need to do is jump into the Analytics tab on your left. You've got a bunch of options to play around with here, including user behavior and timeline analysis of events funnels that allow you to view um, how users are behaving um, and do they follow through on a certain uh, sales funnel that you might have set up cohorts highlighting retention cohorts of course acquisition analysis as well as advanced uninstall analytics now to begin with what we uh, could see right here is the behavior tab what i've done is taken an example of a flight booking company and we want to look at how many flights were booked split by a destination. You could also add multiple filters and break it down any way you like. What this gives us is a timeline analysis, either broken down hourly, daily, weekly or monthly, to see which destinations are trending. Now, if you were to add a filter, you could also look at a certain demography of users where a certain product or a certain destination is trending. Further, you could just pin this straight to a dashboard if you like, download this as a chart or download CSV files with this data. You could also look at multiple events and compare how certain products stack up against each other. What uh, you could also do with the analytics tool is look at your funnels. Taking an example again of a hotel booking product where we see how many people have searched, viewed and booked a hotel. In the case of e-commerce, you could also look at how many people have searched for a particular category, looked at a certain product and then gone ahead and purchased it, or even look at how many people have made a return or successfully accepted a product at delivery. What you could see over here is how many people have gone through step one, drop-offs at step two, uh, how many have continued on, drop-offs and continues. So for each step, you could see how many users or customers are you losing. And what you could very simply do is click on the plus button right here and create your own campaigns, uh, flows or push and target that set of users that has dropped off. In addition, what you could also be looking at apart from your cohorts and uh, acquisition analytics is your uninstall analysis. What this would show you is either a daily, weekly, monthly breakdown of how many users are uninstalling your app across different platforms and broken down by date ranges, of course. But what you could also do is break this down by attributes such as the number of sessions a user has had before they uninstalled, or which city is leading to uninstalls, or what's the lifetime value of the customers who are uninstalling your app within a certain date range. Additionally, you could also look at information like the lifetime in days before somebody uninstalls or how many days since 
the user was last active that has led to an uninstallation. So allowing you to effectively predict churn and manage your uh, retention communication a lot, lot more efficiently. Now, all of this data also flows into a very advanced segmentation system. What we have here is a segmentation platform where we're looking at people who have opened the app or website at least one time in the last 30 days. And you could play around with this and say seven times in 30 days with a lifetime value which is greater than 1000 who have added a product to cart in the last three days where the color of the product was either blue or green but they have not executed purchase so they haven't purchased this product and let's exclude anybody who lives in London maybe just, we just don't want to target users living in London for this particular campaign now would this would allow you to do is run these segments in real time, save them as custom segments and target them further on, or even download a complete list of those users. What you could additionally do is use an offline list, an Excel or a CSV, drag and drop it right here and upload that list of users where the system would actually stitch together this offline user profile along with the online profiles that you've built. Now, once you know who you're targeting, you run into your campaigns tab and start creating marketing campaigns right here. Now, at MoEngage, we support almost any communication channel, any digital communication channel that you could think of, including push notifications on the mobile app and website. And within the push notifications, we power general campaigns, triggered campaigns, real-time triggers that allow you to send push notifications within a second of of any action happening and geofencing campaigns that track a user's location in real time out in the world and allow you to trigger communication based on where they are. In addition, you've got pop-ups specifically designed for the mobile app, responsive templates and drag and drop builders, allowing you to show pop-ups either um, based on a segment of users or when you run promotions or trigger these pop-ups based on an action a user makes. For example, if a user is buying a phone, let's show them a pop-up pop up and ask them if they want to buy a phone case along with it. What you could also do is run email campaigns with MoEngage with drag and drop and VisiWig builders built, allowing you to send emails either promotional mailers or newsletters or again we could do smart trigger mails to let's say somebody who has uninstalled your app. Let's send them an email and ask them what went wrong and offer them a promotion to come back. In addition, you've got SMS campaigns that allow you to personalize at scale and also track clicks on your SMSs and connect to campaigns, which is a very versatile system allowing you to uh, send data or communication via Facebook ads, Google ads, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger or any other ad network or social messenger that you can think of including sending data back into your internal systems as well. Additionally, we've got on-site messaging and web personalization that allows you to show pop-ups or completely personalize the website look and feel based on who the user is and what their context is. Now, bringing all of this together are the flows. The flows are cross-channel automations. Uh, so what these allow you to do is orchestrate a user's journey and help you guide them through the best path for your business. For example, taking a cart abandonment journey, what we could do is add an entry condition that says if a user adds a product to cart but does not successfully complete the order, let's send them a push notification after five minutes asking them if they just forgot the product in their cart and if they're still interested. If they click on that notification, let's wait to see if they make the purchase if yes, let's stop because we've achieved our goal. If no, let's follow up again. On the other hand, we could choose to go the email route to follow up with a user, check if they received, opened, clicked. If that doesn't work, let's continue on sending them communications through other channels, efficiently guiding them through the process that you want them to follow. And what that would also allow you to view is a analysis of how many users have entered a particular journey, which stage they're currently at, your results from each stage, and which branches are working, helping you see which channels of communication work the best for you. 
Now, throughout all of the campaigns that Mo Engage powers, what you would see is an AI and machine learning built layer that we call Sherpa. What Sherpa would right now allow you to do is efficiently allow the system to pick the right time to send a message based on who the user is, where they are, and what their context is. And what Sherpa can also assist you in doing is figuring out the right content to send that user based on uh, your conversion goals, which can also be customized. So that's it for today. And we're just scratching the surface here. You can run campaigns across the customer's journey, right from the onboarding to new users and sending personalized product recommendations to driving app store ratings and running referral programs to grow your user base. So that was a brief of the Mo Engage platform. We'll be discussing each of these modules in detail in further videos. So stay tuned and subscribe to us. And if you have any questions, you can always write into us at support at moengage.com. And we'll see you soon with the next video.